Okay, now we're going to start coding, which is the fun part. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to figure out where is our code. It's in here. So this app.tsx, this is our entry point. And another thing too, we're not going to use TypeScript with this TSX. That is not a topic for this tutorial. So we're basically going to get rid of that. We're going to clear out a bunch of different, a bunch of stuff. We're just going to get rid of, you know, almost everything in this file. I'm going to get rid of all the TypeScript related stuff. Is it dark mode? We're not going to worry about that. Background style, we're not going to worry about that. Um, all this new screen stuff, we can get rid of that. Um, leave that empty because we're going to keep that safe area view. Status bar, we're going to lose that. Scroll bar, scroll view, sorry, we're going to lose that. We're going to get rid of this style sheet as well. We're not going to use style sheets, we're going to use inline styles because it's just simpler. We end up writing all this code. <clears throat> if you want to separate it out, feel free to do so. Props with children, yeah, don't need that. Get rid of these semicolons, you don't actually need semicolons here. And we're going to rename this to app.jsx instead of tsx. Now we save that and it'll update. This is exactly what we expect to see. What? This... Ah, yeah, we're gonna... Because we changed the name of our entry file, it's not gonna like that. So we need to reload. Reload by clicking on the terminal here and then hitting the R key, and that'll reload it, and that should work. We'll just make sure that it does indeed work. Text... Got to make sure that text is imported up here. We're gonna go hello, and here we're going to go flex one, uh, justify content center, align items Ugh, center. Save that. Yep, prove that it works. It works. Alrighty. Now the first thing we're going to make is a splash screen. Interesting little splash screen we're going to make for ourselves, which is sort of like a custom one. There are there are packages that will allow you to change the actual native code, like the native splash screen that the app uses, but we're going to bypass that. We're just going to make our own view that is just going to display first. Uh, basically like it's going to it's going to be the first actual React Native view that displays and that's going to play or that's going to be displayed while it is um, check it is basically authenticating once you log in uh, sorry once you open the app if you have stored credentials it's going to talk to the API and log you in and get you a fresh token and all that sort of stuff. While that's happening we're going to display our own nice little animation. So that's what we're going to build first which is the entry essentially part of the entry point. Enough of that. Uh, what we need to do is we need to set up, we need to create, so we're in the root, we're going to create a folder. We're going to create a folder called source. And this is where all of our code is going to go. First thing we're going to want to do is create a folder called screens. This is where our, this is a navigation thing, which we'll get to. We want another one called assets. And we want another one called common. These are the only folders that we're going to need for the time being. In screens, we're going to create a file called, what's this prettier? Get rid of that. In screens, file splash.jsx. We're going to give it some boilerplate, which is just going to be function 
uh, splash screen export defaults splash screen okay we're gonna go import text I'm just gonna return splash that'll do for now in our, um, in our main app we're going to go import splash screen from screen Too easy. I'm going to take that, and we're going to we're going to get rid of this for now, and we're just going to return splash screen. That'd be the easiest thing to do. It's got to go source. Anyone who caught that, you are a legend. Now. You can see it up there in that tiny little corner. It's working. Cool. Okay, so in our splash screen, we're going to make a little bit something a little bit more, uh, something a little bit better than that. We're going to start off with a safe area view. And then inside that, we're going to have a status bar object which we're going to set to bar style light content because we want the we want the color of the status bar text to be white here because we're gonna have a dark background and we'll actually create that now so we're gonna style <clears throat> Going to align items center. Actually, going to flex one so that it extends the whole height. Align items, justify content, center that, center that as well. Background color black. Yep, Looking good so far. And then we're going to have a, a view object text a text object real time chat and we'll style the text as well style color will be white we'll text align center we'll have a font size of 48 big big text and that's all we'll have for now view doesn't exist make sure to import that Formatting is always nice. Here we go. All right, now we've got real-time chat. 